Let's talk about color grading and the film look. I'm Andrew, and I was gifted Dehancer's film emulation plugin in exchange for a review. This plugin is going to help me develop a look in terms of the color grading for my videos. And now that I'm home, let's get right into the review. First things first, I need to install the plugin for DaVinci Resolve. Now let's import some footage and do some color correction. And now I'm ready to add the Dehancer effect. Color correction and getting the correct white balance is essential in this first step. Let's go full screen and jump right into it. Now this automatically defaults to Kodak Vision 250D, which is a negative film used for movies, but there are many other options. Dehancer has a total of 63 film stocks, including print film stocks. It has Kodak's four different versions of the movie film stocks, and then a bunch of photo film stocks. Now I like to use Kodak Vision 50D, but this is where you can get creative. This is where I start developing my look. For me, this is not enough contrast, so I like to pull the blacks down and the whites up under the expand tab. The other option, which I really like, is adding Kodak 2383, which is a print film and adds a lot of contrast. I love this option. This is looking pretty good, but we're not done yet. I want to talk about the Film Developer tab. For me, this is an essential tab. This is where we can boost the color and add more color separation. I can really dial things in under this tab and then add my color grading on top. To further enhance your ability to color grade, Dehancer has the color head option. Now this emulates where film can be exposed to different color lights during development. This is where you want to be really subtle because it will just look like a filter. We're about halfway done. I think it's time for a snack. Now, while I'm cooking up dinner, let's talk about the film compression tab. Now, sometimes I don't expose my footage correctly and there's too much contrast between the whites and the blacks. I can't raise the shadows or the midtones without blowing out the highlights. This is where I can use the film compression tab and compress the highlights down. I can also shift around the entire tonal range. I'll be honest, I think this unlocks a lot of potential. It's got me thinking how many other times I could have used this. I could have really created some unique footage. One really good tab is the film grain tab. Personally, I think this is better than DaVinci's version. Dehancer will actually scan the image and then add the film grain based on different film stocks. Then it also has the option to give you complete control over the film grain, including grain size, how much grain is in the highlights, the shadows, and the midtones. I like to be really subtle with this just to give it some character, but you can add more grain to give it more of that vintage look. Now, if you're really into the film look or the vintage look, it has the option to add bloom. Now, bloom usually comes from vintage lenses, but here I can create whatever I want. Now, bloom is when the light extends beyond the brightest areas of the image. I think this really has its uses. Now, the final tab I want to talk about is halation. Halation happens to overexposed areas. This is where the contrasting boundaries creates a red glare in the midtones. Now, there's a whole science why this happens, but the takeaway is it's associated with the film look. I'll add some resources into the description below if you're into the science of film. Overall, I think Dehancer unlocks a ton of potential. It has so many useful tools that will help me take my videos beyond basic videography. And now I have a question for you. Would you use this? For me, it's going to unlock a ton of creativity. I'll be back soon. Now to upload the review to YouTube.